If you've ever played with jQuery Mobile, you know that one of the most interesting facets of the jQuery Mobile framework is it the ability to actually skin or change the theme of your mobile application. Sadly, trying to do that with CSS is rather difficult, but that's where Dreamweaver CS6 comes in yet again, because we've got a brand new jQuery Mobile Swatches panel that allows us to more easily A, see what we are theming, and B, actually apply the theme to the individual objects. Let's take a look. Now, you'll remember in Dreamweaver CS 5.5, we introduced jQuery Mobile by uh, giving you some starter layouts. You'll notice we have a couple extra ones now. Uh, the jQuery Mobile with theme option. Now, basically, when you choose this, it's exactly the same as choosing the jQuery Mobile local version, except we've actually broken out the CSS. So, uh, the CSS for the, the theme, that is. So, it's actually a separate CSS file. I'll go ahead and use that now. Uh, now, you might be asking yourself, why would I want to do that? Well, if you're going to modify the theme, it's nice to have it broken out into its own style sheet. Even more importantly, if you want to create your own styles, in other words, your own theme, perhaps using Fireworks, and it's Fireworks CS6's new ability to actually export jQuery mobile themes, then it's much easier to swap those in. Now, here we have our jQuery mobile page, and I'll just go ahead and make it look more like a mobile phone. So, we'll just use our window size manager to give it a, the proper size and even turn on our live view so that we can see what that's going to look like. But before we go any further, we'll need to save the document so that Dreamweaver is prepared to let us modify our themes. So, I'll go ahead and hit save, and we'll just call this index.html. And again, Dreamweaver, just like in the past in Dreamweaver CS 5.5, is going to offer to copy over all of our uh, necessary JavaScript files, CSS, images, and so on that make up the theme. But you'll notice that we again have broken out that CSS. So there's that theme file right there. We'll copy that over, and now we're ready to begin the process of theming. Now, again, in the past, I would go into split view in order to do this and perhaps scroll down in my page to find the element, maybe just the page itself that I wanted to theme. Then I would begin typing. I would say something like data dash theme and then be presented with a list of available themes. Um, now, jQuery Mobile comes with several themes already built in, as I said. So let's just choose B. I'll go ahead and choose that, but then I need to again go back over to my page, refresh that to see what I've actually got. Now, I didn't know that was going to turn blue because I, unless you're very, very familiar with the individual themes, you don't know what they look like. And that's the problem. But let's see how we've solved that with Dreamweaver CS6. I'll just delete that theme that I've just created, and I'm going to now open up the brand new jQuery Mobile Swatches panel. Now, when I open this up, you'll notice, oh, wow, look, themes. It says that we haven't applied any themes yet, and so it's giving me the option of not only applying them, but seeing the individual themes themselves. Now, I can apply that overall theme, just as you saw me do a moment ago, and that's being applied to the entire page. But let's say I want to get a little bit more complicated. Maybe I want to, to combine certain elements of themes. As I begin to click around, you'll notice that the panel once again changes. It says, oh, you want to change a theme for the header, or perhaps as I click into the footer, the theme for the footer. So I can actually mix and match the individual pieces themselves. Now, where this gets even more interesting is, again, as you begin to build your own themes. Again, perhaps using Fireworks CS6 to actually theme your jQuery mobile uh, application to look completely different than a standard jQuery mobile app might look like. In fact, that's what I've done here for the Pluralist. You'll notice this doesn't look like your typical jQuery mobile uh, application or theme at all, because again, I've gone in in Fireworks CS6 and created my own complete theme. In fact, I even threw away all the themes that I wasn't using and now have three options. And you'll notice again, as I begin to navigate into my application, every aspect of my jQuery mobile application can be themed. Here we see the theme that I'm using for my list. As I drill even further in, let's say maybe we want to change uh, something like this button. I'll just inspect that to select it here. And you can see here we even have our jQuery mobile button 
I have all the available icons. So if I wanted to change that from a dial pad, although I don't know why I would, maybe to a uh, information icon. There we go. Eh, I think the dial pad looks a little better. But maybe I want to see an uh, experiment a little bit with uh, placement. Let's see, what would it look like if the, the button was on? Eh, nah, that doesn't look good. Let's go back to the way it was uh, over there on the left. So you can see that using the jQuery mobile swatches panel, <laughs> it really opens up a world of, of creative possibilities for me here in Dreamweaver CS6.